Crazy Poo! You know me, I know you. Let's all have a big, big party. Anyway, oh crap! Anyway, uh, let's just get started. As you all know, on the last one, we kind of got our booties kicked. All right, just a little bit. It wasn't bad. I mean, you know how it went, but it's okay. We've learned our lesson and we're ready to go. I haven't practiced none at all, but I have some ideas. I think we'll be okay. Also, I saw a tower up here that we should go, go, go see. So we'll do that. First thing we're going to do, we're going to gather up some resources. Survivor Man says radishes are good. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this thing in. There we go. Magnet mode on. I'm all about... I'm all about playing legitly, but without magnet mode, it's kind of dumb. Oh my god, there's clay right here. That's really good. Dude! Instant clay. Instant. Hey, does this give me clay? Actually, I don't care about that. That's really good! We already got clay! We're gonna have to do Tinker's Construct crap. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy the video, don't forget to slap that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. My mom would too. Alrighty, let's get to it, shall we? Um, I'm going to grab a couple of these uh, pieces of wood because we might need some later. We've got enough clay. The one thing we're going to be missing is some gravel and some sand. We need a place to live. That's Remember, that's the number one thing. You need a place to live. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so there's the tower. Um, I don't think I can get up there to it, and it looks really freaking scary. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to noob tower up. I'm going to waste the wood. Why? Because there could be something good in this chest. I'll look at it in a second. Is that all that's up here? Yeah. All right. I'm not going to actually use it. All right. I'm out of here. I'm not actually going to use that wood over there. Oh, there's some wheat over there. Okay. Okay. Wait, no, there's some. No, that's not gravel. I was going to say there's some gravel. There's stuff everywhere. It's like freaking Costco. All right. If you don't know what Costco is, it's a grocery store. They have really good sales. Let's get out of here. Uh, there's some sugar cane. We need that. And there's some mushrooms, but we don't need that. Let's just get a place that looks like an okay base and we'll set up camp there. How does that sound? Although that obsidian castle over there is pretty good. The only problem I have against the obsidian castle is, well, it's made of obsidian and it's really dark. And they made this mod pack where you couldn't cut up the brightness and yeah. A village! A village! I repeat, we have located a village! There's a village! Survivor Man's never found an Ewok village in his whole thing. Less Stroud or Less Shroud or... It doesn't matter. He's never found an Ewok village. But we found an Ewok village. So let's go over here and see what they got. I see crops already. Yeah, buddy! Give me some crops! We're gonna get... We're gonna get crump... We're gonna get high off some wheat crops. I said wheat. You heard what I said. Oh my god, actually, this is really good. This is going to be uh, a huge benefit to us. We found crops that have food. Normally, I don't loot this much, but I mean, this is we actually can use this stuff. Oh, there's gravel! Oh my god, dude. I'm starting to think that this may or may not be a very good area for us to hold up for the night, if we can find a way to live. There are villagers here, so if we, if we bunk up here, then we're, they'll probably die. Just saying. If I were going to hold up here for the night, where would I stay? Hey, look, there's some uh, carrots. Please be carrots. Are you carrots? No, potatoes. I hate potatoes. This is a nice little house. I wonder if anything's in it. Ah, as we get to the top, we see there is nothing here. There's a wooden house, and that's about it. So, what I'm kind of thinking is we need to get some wood. After we get some wood, we need to grab... We really need a base, some kind of base. I, I don't know where we're going to build a base because I don't know where it's going to be safe. And, I, you know, you got to be safe. If you don't feel safe, then you're kind of screwed. Our food's going down, but we were able to get quite a bit of, uh, of wheat and stuff because of the village. This is good. I feel like I'm at Costco right now. It's just a really good spawn location. I'm not sure how much... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Torches. Torches. Oh, my God. We have torches. <gasps> the village has torches. I'm going to snag more torches. And then we're going to take these and we're going to go uh, make a base somewhere that's super safe that nothing can get us. It'll be great. Okay, I have 10 pieces of wood. I'm going to run around and I'm going to grab uh, as many torches as I can grab just because extra torches are good. Hi. Okay, so there is a church here. I don't know if there's going to be lighting in here, but we're going to check. There is lighting. So we can snag all of the torches. I'm going to check and see if there's a chest up here. No chest. This is a fairly big house, though. So maybe there's something in here. Some bookcases. Uh, enchantment table. We'll come back to this. We don't need this right now. Um, what is that? Apothecary. Could be some potions in here. Oh, a torch. Two torches. Yeah. 
All right, so we need to get out of here before nighttime arrives, and we need to come up with the strategy that we're going to use. I think the strategy I'm going to use is we're going to go underwater, and we're going to make our base under the water, because that seems like a really good idea. That way, if any mobs come after us, they drown. It's smart, right? All right, this is going to be good. So let's try right here. We should be... I can't see now. All right, there we go. So what I did there was I used the torches... I used the torches so that I could not suffocate. Did we really just find a cave under the ocean? Oh my god, I think we just found a cave under the ocean. If I found a cave under the ocean, this is this is the most perfect thing that's ever happened. Are we that lucky? And I stole a lot of torches, so that's good. I, I'm a little I, I'm a little just I, I don't know what to say right now. I'm still trying to understand if this is even feasible that we just did this or if this is like just not happening. Okay, so from what I can tell, this did happen and we are underneath the water and I think we're safe. The one thing that we are short on now is we are short on wood. We used a lot of our wood to get down here so we might have to break that wood later on uh, if I need extra pieces. So that's not too bad, that's not too bad. I'm actually really happy with the current situation that we're in. Wait, does that not break, make bread anymore? Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I make bread? That's how you make bread? I've always made bread like that. Bread. Big dough. Okay. Okay, so we are going to be short on some food. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we are good. We are good now. It looks like we have enough light in here. I'm glad that we found the torches. Hey, where did I get these? Where did I get these candles? Oh, I must have got them from the other place. I'll take that. Okay, we should have enough lighting down here. Welcome to How to Survive Blood and Bones. I feel really excited now. We've got this thing locked down, and uh, yeah, we should be okay. So, let's begin. We've got a pair of pants, a sword, and a pickaxe. That's good. So we'll put the pants on. I don't know what I'm going to do with this pickaxe. I don't want to waste it, but uh, it doesn't have a lot of uses. Maybe I'll use it to, like, get some of this stone up. Okay, so over here, it doesn't look like there's anything. So I think we can bust up into there. We can take this gravel and we can use it for stuff. I'm trying to spread our torches out so that uh, we should be okay. Hopefully no mob spawn or anything like that. There we go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay. Here we go. Things that we need to build. Let's go to Tinker's Construct. We're going to need to make a part building station. No, a stencil table first. We're going to go in and build a stencil table. So we're going to need some sticks. All right. Got our stencil table. So let's put our stencil table over here. We'll put it against this wall. Next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a part builder. So another stencil. Now we have more wood. We're just using it to block uh, the water from falling down in here, which that's okay. Let me just figure out where the water's. All right, so the water's gonna fall down there and it's gonna go here. Dude, there's more underneath it. Okay, so I have the other wood now. What do we need to make? So we have our tool station. We have our stencil table. Let's go on and make. Um, let's go on and make a stencil. Actually, before I make a stencil, I think I got, I think I may or may not have enough to make a stone saw. Okay, I think I do have enough for a saw. We're going to need tool rods, so that means we're going to need a one more piece of cobblestone. I should be able to break it with my hand. It's going to take a little while, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, I was wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. Listen to him. He's suffocating. Listen to him. Look at that. So a skeleton died above us because he drowned. So they're trying to swim down to us, but they're drowning. So what does that mean? It means I'm getting their resources that they're like just dropping down. All right, I'm going to go on and I'm going to build another stencil table, or another stencil, and we'll go on and build the pieces that we're going to need. So we're going to need that. Toss that in there. We're going to need a tool rod pattern. Yes, we'll take that. We're going to need another one, pickaxe head, and we're going to need one more, and that's going to be the binding. So, binding. Okay, so we made our pickaxe. All the things we're going to need for pickaxe, all we need to do now is we need to build the pickaxe. I, I don't think this is the table we're gonna need. We're gonna need the other one, which I'm, this is the only thing I've been worried about the whole time. We may or may not have enough resources to make this one part. Okay, that's not good. We are going to need the tool station, which is gonna require a blank pattern, 
and there's the tool station the only thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna be missing wood so we're not actually yet we're in another predicament or we're in another situation that we were in last time where we don't have the necessary requirements for what we need and it's pretty I'm pretty sure it's still nighttime so we can't go out but we have everything that we're gonna need to do what we need to do if that made any sense we have everything we need we just gotta wait for daylight and then we can go outside and get I guess we can go on and make this so we're gonna make a pickaxe we'll go in and make our flint so that's gonna give us we got the pickaxe head now we need the binding and then and then all we gotta do is we put that in there boom 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 we now have a flint pickaxe yeah get you some flint pickaxe acquired get you some i feel like i'm at a walmart superstore and i just found the last thing of pringles mother yeah all righty what does that mean well one thing it means that we're going to be able to mine up some more of this stone what is the stone going to do it's going to allow us to make one of the things that i wanted to make earlier what is that one a furnace two something else I must say, I'm very proud of our base. Our base is going to be one of the best bases out there. Why? Because we're using the environment to kill things. If mobs come at us, we just build other things. Or if, sorry, if mobs come at us, what we'll do is we'll simply drown them. Some of you are probably like, why did you get the sugar cane? I got the sugar cane because I want to make punji sticks. If you don't know what a punji stick is, it'll poison mobs and kill them. I can't make it right now, but it is like a spike, except it has poison, slowing effects. We'll use it as Survivor Man would. If you're getting chased by a cougar, what do you do? You throw punji sticks at it. You throw punji sticks at it. Punji sticks for the win. Yes. Also, we have plenty. We have a cave that has uh, flint in it. That's always a good thing. I actually like this flint pickaxe a lot. I'm just going to say that now. It's a nice little pickaxe. What I want to do is I want to go back to the village, look around, and maybe we can find some more uh, some more things we could use. Like, maybe we could find some more torches. That would be good. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe. I, I would love to find more. I be finding torches! Torch, young Tucci! Alright, so I can't build my furnace because I don't have any wood. I hear a skeleton. I don't, or sorry, a zombie. I have no clue where he's at. Uh, let's see. I think that's him right there. Is that a creeper or... Nope, that is a creeper. Oh, oh, oh. I'm pretty sure we can go out there, but I'm not sure we want to. I do need to get some food, though, and there's nothing I can do about that at the moment. I can eat some more potatoes. Nope, I've ate potatoes too recently. Let's eat some more rutabagers. All right, we need to get out of here, though. So I'm going to try to make a pathway out of this place so that we can get things that we're going to need. Also, I should probably put a hole right there in case uh, we accidentally hit water. It'll just wash into that, and we won't drown. I thought it was daylight. Or I thought it was day, but it looks like it's night. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh! Alright. I could be wrong, but I think if I tunnel directly this way, it'll bring me up above land. And that's where we want to be. I don't have a lot of torches, though. So this kind of is like got us in a situation that we don't want to be in. Like, I, I don't know how far I have to tunnel this way to get out from uh, under the ocean. And I'm going to need torches. Otherwise, we're going to end up... Okay, so I can hear them dying. I don't know if we're there yet. I don't know what's going on. All I know is I can hear them dying. We're almost out of this pit. Oh. Okay, so we finally broke through into the, like, top of this thing. Hopefully there's no mob. Alright, there are mobs, but they're coming for us. But hopefully we can get away. I see them coming. We should be fine. The second they hit this, they probably will die. Right, they probably will die. We'll just stick a probably in there. Hopefully that's a... Yeah, they'll die. Unfortunately, I don't know what we're going to eat. Because apparently they've made the game where you can't just eat normal stuff. And I'm extremely slow. So if they do come after us, we're going to die. Just saying, it's we're kind of out there as to what's about to happen. Sorry. Okay, we locked out. We had some uh, apple juice in our inventory. Now, one thing we can't do is run. If we run, we're going to die. Uh, I do think there were some pine cones around here that I saw. There's definitely some stuff over there. there. All right, there's the pine cone that could keep us alive. I don't know what this is. I think it's strawberries, hopefully. Okay, we did manage to find some strawberries. Uh, there is a pig over there. I do have a sword, but I don't know if it's going to actually keep us alive. The one thing we do need to get, we need to get some food, some extra foods, uh, and we're going to need to get some more wood. If without the wood, we can't progress. If we get some wood, we might be all right. I'm going to tell you now. Okay, we did get the pine cone. We're going to try to work our way out of here. Um, I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. All right, all we need to do now, grab some wood. We probably need a good amount just because we're going to be like, you know, hopefully we don't have to come back out here. That's kind of what we're shooting for. I do see some mushrooms over there. I don't see any red mushrooms, but I do see some shrooms. 
Unfortunately, we didn't build an axe because we didn't have the wood to build an axe. We'll try to do that this time. We'll definitely make a saw this time, which will give us four wood instead of the normal two. And that'll help us out a ton. I don't want to be stuck out here at night, though. That would be the worst thing that could happen. And we're doing really good. And I'd hate to die because, you know, we got nighttime. Although a dark craft pickaxe or an axe that could cut down a lot of tree at once, that'd be great. <coughs> Legitimately, though, we only got to make it through one more night. And we'll probably have all the tools we need. We're in a really good position not to get killed. So that's I'd like to stay that way. Uh, yeah. I do see a hole in the ground over there. So that looks like maybe TNT hit it or something. It's too bad it already despawned, though. Alright, I don't have any red mushrooms, but that does not mean that we won't get any at some point. Okay, it is getting nighttime though. We have to go. We have to go. We have to go. I don't like running, but we're running now. Because we don't have time. We have got to get inside our base before it's too late. Uh, the one thing I wasn't able to grab though was torches. I wish I'd have got more torches because, you know, torches are good. They help you not be dead. That's great. That's great. I have no clue where I'm at now. Beautiful. Luckily, I have a, a candle with. All right, we've made it back to base. As long as there's not a creeper in here waiting on us to kill us, we should be fine. We made it back. There was nothing there to kill us. We have 13 pieces of fear wood. I feel great right now. Now, what do we want to build? We want to build a saw. Remember, everything is like out the window on this pack, guys. It's changed. All the building patterns are different and such, so it's a little bit harder to do. But we're getting there. All right, the number one thing we want to build is a crafting table. We're going to need that absolutely so i'll go on and put our crafting table down over here i think we should have enough to build the saw if i'm lucky so one two one two all right let's see one two one two okay we need one more stone rod which is fine because we have plenty of stone and what this is going to allow us to do is we're going to be able to make a freaking saw which we can cut the wood and we'll get more wood from it boom all right made it there we go 32 pieces of wood that is more than enough we'll keep these in case we need them you never know when you might need those kind of things okay things that we're gonna need i want to go on and build a chest we do need one uh it is a lot of resources but it, it'll be worth it because we have nowhere to put anything right now so there we go we made a chest we have food i think we have enough food for now to survive for a while and I think all I've got to do is put this in here and it should repair our pickaxe. Uh, if we put this in here and that should repair it, boom. So we've repaired our pickaxe. Everything's good. The only thing, like I said, we have a food problem. We're, we're having a hard time with our food. We need to find out what all we can make with our food. Okay, so things we're going to need. We're definitely going to need a furnace. So let's go on and make a furnace uh, so that we can start making some types of food. The one other thing that i wish we had that we don't is actually going to be coal we don't have any coal we have to be really careful i don't want us to freaking die or we should be able to cook these potatoes i don't know we'll see okay so we are able to cook the potatoes if we're lucky this will keep us alive for a while i don't, I don't know i don't know what cook, i don't know if cooked potatoes do anything i don't think they do a normal minecraft nourishing snack not eaten recently there we go all right we got a potato all right, let's see about making us some charcoal, shall we? Uh, if this will make charcoal, I'll be excited. Okay, so you can't make charcoal, it appears. All right, guys. Well, I hope you... I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Blood and Bones. We didn't die. We have a nice little base getting set up. I'm definitely excited. Uh, I'll probably put this, uh, the next episode out sooner than, like, uh, a full week. Just because I really like this series. And, uh, I want to get a little more progressed where I don't feel like I'm going to die every second. But, I hope you guys like the underground base idea. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys thought it was smart that we made it underwater so everything suffocated that tried to get in our base. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, Legion. Thank you for all your support. You guys are freaking fantastic. You're like the family that I wish I had had a long time ago. Thank you so much, guys and girls. I'll see you later, Legion. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you uh, enjoyed what you saw. I'm out of here. I'm going to Costco. Peace out, homies. Bye.